Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. Sneaky bit of midweek Wednesday content, you know, you know. And I guess in a way it could be considered a bit of a prelude to what's coming, the build series, you know. But here's the thing and a little bit of an explanation about this one before we get started. Firstly, it's not going to be an half an hour video, believe, because it's just midweek Wednesday content. But security here's the thing if you follow the series you'll know a couple of months ago we had a bit of an incident one night with some bozos pulling up and scaring the shiznick out of me so i've had a number of companies over the past year or so contact me concerning dash cams but i thought because of that incident and because of this particular model that i'm about to show you might be a good time to get myself a dash cam and get it installed and then we just got cameras and such so if i'm in the back chilling of an evening have a sneaky little look on the camera rah, 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 and see what's going on outside the car without getting out you know now i know there's a number of dash cams on the market but if you're gonna go for a dash cam you may as well go for what i'm gonna dub a beast i mean look at the size of this bad boy it's been sent over by a company called red tiger Rawr. and it's a pretty bad boy bit of kit i'm not gonna lie it's got a massive front view camera that cuts out at 4k and it's got reverse view or rear view camera that cuts out at like 2.4k here's the thing you may if you're a regular to the series be aware that in the comments sections of some of my videos it deems that not many people are too convinced on my cooking skills I beg to differ. As I've mentioned before, I used to cook for 10 people on a regular basis. I must admit, it may be fair to say that their taste buds were not the same as other people's. Example, I did cook a big stew one time and we used to use what we call a bouquet garni tea bag. It's kind of like a herby tea bag for those that don't know. And I used six of them. And the problem was, cooked stew, and I forgot to take out the bouquet carne tea bags, didn't I? Served it all up, and halfway through eating, realised that the tea bags were still in there. So rushed out to the tables where the people sat, where they were munching, to try and retain said tea bags. I'll tell you now, six went in the pot, and only three came back. They ate the tea bags. And there we go. So I'm just saying, like, their taste buds, or levels of sort of you know we're not like others so those that have laid comments in the comment sections of my video or oh, i'll hold my hands up you might have a point and the point to this tale is as bad as my cooking skills may or may not be my mechanic skills are even worse so good luck on this one you know but here is the thing with this red tiger and another sort of explanation because we're gonna be getting a new crib soon in the next few weeks, less than a month I feel now. So the last thing I really wanna be doing is a full hard install with this, taking panels out, etc., on the boot and the sides to lay all the cables and so on. And then in a few weeks time, having to like pull it all out and redo it in the new crib. So good news is you've got options. We can do what I'm gonna call a soft install, which will just be like front camera, rear camera, and probably GPS. And we won't be hooking it up to the car battery. And I'll be installing the rear camera on the inside of the car as opposed to the outside. All this is possible and all this is optional with the Red Tiger dash cam. Rawr. Right. <laughs> right. With all that being said, <laughs> let's get the box open mate oh my days hang on <laughs> it's all gonna fall out yeah anyway mate beast of a cam you know on the front all cables included uh we have got a 12 volt so we can hook it up straight into the siggy light and no need or necessity at this stage to plug it into the actual car battery uh rear view camera and cable I think I've lost something. Crap, hang on. Found it, found it. It's under the manual. Uh, GPS. <laughs> We're good to go. <sighs> Only about 30 meters of cable to install. <laughs> Let's have it. Look, I will say as well, like I said, my mechanical skills are yeah, non-existent. Normal people, this wouldn't be a problem. I 
I'm more like this in this state. A bit of a tool. But yeah, let's have a go. Alright, stage one then. <laughs> let's get the actual thing on. Pretty good. Comes with these little rubber things. I actually thought they were just part of the packaging, if I'm honest. But uh, no, they're not. There's four different sizes, I suppose, for a different mirror. But yeah, pretty sweet. They just like clip over and then... Oh, hang on. Pull your camera out to the size of your camera, a uh, mirror, you know, and then away it goes. Boom, son. And that's it, installed. There we go. I don't know what I was worrying about installing this thing. Dead easy. Right, simple's done. Next stage. I'm going to have to, like, run all my cables. I'm going to run both the power cable to the cigarette lighter down here, and I'm also going to run the rear view camera cable down here. And then I think I'm going to get the GPS and I'm going to run that down the other side just to sort of not have 20 cables running through one little thing. From what I can gather, this is the point where me and the tool become one. All right. I do like a plastic shovey tool. I'm assuming that's for prying out and then popping cable in wood. All right, let's have a go. Good news. Good hell. It does come with an absolute flicking mass of cable. <laughs> so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about the length. Uh, you just have to worry about untangling the damn thing. Give me a minute. Oh, yeah. Um, sometimes it might be a good idea to plug stuff in before you, um, before you hook it on the mirror. I'm just gonna say this, this install, it's like an anti-install, let's say. Whatever I do on this video, if you do the opposite, you'll be all right and it'll go sweet. That's all I'm saying. Not entirely sure what the tactic is with this tool. Um, not gonna lie. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like I'm clipping something off my roof. <laughs> something that may not go back, like everything's just gonna fall apart. No way, to be honest. That's pretty sweet. That tucks right in. No way! Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Sugar. Right, I may need a minute just to actually work out how to use this tool. Bear with. Right, I feel like I'm in a good place with this cable now. I feel like we've got choices and options. And you know, I like that because that's how life should be. <laughs> thing is, what I'm thinking, I can either bring it down here towards the front of the windshield and then across and sort of back or across the dashboard and down to plug in there, or I can sort of bring it along here and piece it down to rubber and then have it come under sort of the glove box and out. I'm really not sure. To be honest, I think I'm gonna go windshield and then bring it back over and then I can run the rear view camera down there on its toddler. The tool's good, but you need the real tool, mate, if you're playing with cables. The old button knife in there like swimwear. Come on, get in there. And to be fair, Oh, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Honestly, like, as an old PC geek, the cabling, it's all about the cabling. It's all about tidying up and making it look real nice and snug and having them flashing neon lights in the box that just look really cheesy. But no, in all seriousness, like this, it's all about having it nice and snug. So cable coming from here, can't see anything all along there. It's all tucked around. I could have got this a little bit more tidy if I'd been bothered all the way down the side and all the way along the glass and to be honest what i would do and possibly what i will do i'll just pull that taut and then i'll tape it sort of along here somewhere and then it's almost the exact perfect length right two more things to install the gps which is essentially just going to run the other way around the uh windshield and then also on top of that the rear view camera i um, think what i'm going to do to save you all the pain and suffering and a lot of bleeping when i'm swearing all the time i'm going to run all these cables 
round the windshield and to the back and I'll meet you on the flip side when I'm actually going to like install the rear view camera onto the, the window at the back. Yeah, let's see how we go with that. Yeah, see you on the flip side. Micro screws, brackets, 3M glue and a camera. Oh yeah. I know I said I was going to run the cables and all that first, but I'm just feeling brave and I figured I'd put the camera in first. It might not be the best idea because I guess you want the cables running first, but I'm going to do it my way. I'm not going to lie, I've got to be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far. This is pretty good. I've done a good job of that. I can't believe I've actually just said that. So. I figure I'll be able to do a good job of this. Oh, I don't know. I've just been having a look at it, and I'm sure it tells you in the instructions, but I haven't read it yet, have I? So, and um, knowing me, I probably won't. Oh, we do not want to be losing them. We need a little bit of frozen magic, which is why I've used the frozen bowl. Everybody's got frozen bowl, right? Sure, of course they have. Look, anyway, yeah, these brackets. So here's the thing. Um, camera said piece here screws in uh technical yeah that way round and then so that's gonna hang oh wait that'll hang uh to the window and then this bracket there it is that will that'll glue on the glass yes so that goes kind of like that oh crap are you with me and then that sticky bit yeah that stickies it to the glass and then he pokes it out the window I should say, even in the manual, it does say you can install it this way, but it does advise you to install it on the outside of the car. I just assume you're getting a better view with, like, not having a glass opposing it. And also, oh, this is a bit of a weird one. You know, I'm not that skillful and technical. So at this point, when I install this camera, my rear view cover, that's not going to fit properly. I'm going to have to cut it apart, but that sort of comes as a point where you know, because I'm not going to rebuild it. We are moving on to the next crib. Exciting times, to be fair. And sad. I'm going to miss this affair. Right. Camera installation. What? Wish me luck. Oh, come on already. I think I may have put the screws in the wrong way around. It's like your holes there, doesn't it? And, uh, yeah. Five minutes of pain. A world of pain. I don't even know which screws to use, dude. Uh. Start again. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, seems a bit easier this way. Just saying. It's working. What? Happy days. 20 minutes of pain. I'm not gonna lie, four screws. But it's there and it's redder. And now it'll just like hang on the window and then I can run the cable. Pretty sweet. Right, let's get it in. Oh, I need the 3M sticker as well. Good news, the cable is all the way around to the back of the crib. Bad news, it's taken a bit of a while and I've lost all the light. It's nearly night time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank God. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, we do have one more issue, and I'll explain it in a minute. But we almost had another issue. I couldn't find what I'm looking for to have an issue with. All right, the issue. Um, one side's red, one side's grey. One side's going on metal, and the other side's going on glass. It doesn't tell me which is which. Flip a coin? I don't know. Or is it the same both sides? I really don't know. And it's not like it's shape ridden, is it? Like it'll go both sides. What do you reckon? I'll sit here and wait till I get the comments and then I'll carry on. Crap. Uh, I guess I could try and Google it. I don't know. There's nothing in the book. We don't say. I mean, that's quite a sticker. But 
then I guess this side will be as well. Oh, I've got to stop biting me nails, man. Got it. Oh, this sucks. Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. Is that side not supposed to peel off or something? Of course it is. Oh, crap. That side's peeled off on its own and this one's not having none of it. I don't get it. What, what am I missing here? This is random, dude. Oh, wait. I feel like we've got movement on the top tape. Maybe not. Well, pain. It's not working. It's not working. Ah, final corner. He's not working. He's not working. I can't do nails. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mom? Mom? Oh, oh wait. Yeah, because if in doubt, get the teeth out, you know. It ain't working. Oh, it is working. Oh! Well, hang on a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hazard a guess. Though it doesn't matter which side. Ah, uh, just just a thought. Cause that was clear, weren't it? That's why I mean I'm you know, put different colours on each side to make me think like what the fraggle. And I really did think like, what the fraggle? But now I'm not. Now I've just gotta make sure I get it on properly. Oh crap. This this is not gonna go well, is it? Ay, jeez. We've got one shot at this. If I cock this up. We're buggered. And I mean, let's be honest. There's a massive potential, isn't there? Jeez. I really should be getting someone else to do this. Just a thought. Anyway, there ain't no one here. <laughs> Only me. Lack of competence. I got a good vibe, though. Go with a good vibe, man. Go with the positivity. And then you might come out good. It's just a thought. I'm hoping. Oh shit, once it's on, it's on though, you know, you know. Oh, mama. World of pain, world of pain, world of pain, world of pain. Is it too long? Yeah, baby, come on. We're so close. And I know it seems like I'm getting overexcited about really small things, but if you think that, you don't follow the series. <laughs> oh, I ain't great at stuff. I'm just saying. It's all about positivity, though, isn't it, in life? You know what I mean? You don't need to be good at stuff. Well, you do, but... Yeah, positivity. Coming seconds, just as good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right. Now, what we've got to do is work out its orientation on the glass. This was the bit I was worried about. You get this wrong, I'm fraggled. <laughs> One shot, that's all I'm saying. You get one shot in life, God take it. What was that? It was an old Eminem song, wasn't it? You weren't messy, mate. We got one shot. <laughs> well, the pain of case went wrong, just saying. Which is why I'm logically thinking, and I'm doing it from inside the crib. Because that's the way the camera's looking. And I can kind of work it out from that. Does that look right? I oh, bloody hope so. Shall I go further up? What you reckon? To the right bit? Left a bit? Right a bit? I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll freaking dry that glass. I don't want to be blowing nothing with moisture. You do. Boom, she's in. I'm not moving. I'm freaking not moving, dude. That's it. Right. I'm just going to sit here for about 20 minutes and put pressure on that. And I'll show you the rest of it in a minute or tomorrow when there's some proper light. Crap. 20 minutes. Come on, baby. You can do it. It's like a bloody strongman challenge. Ah, fully installed and ready to rumble then. There are, however, a couple of bits that I didn't install. I haven't, for example, installed that red cable as yet. That hooks up to one of your rear brake lights so that when you put the car into reverse, the camera automatically just flips into reverse mode. I haven't also installed the hard wire kit which gives permanent power to the actual dash cam. It's a pretty good dash cam to be fair. A lot of the old cheap dash cams have like batteries in there that fade and corrode over time and are really hard or impossible to replace on some of them. This has a capacitor which is not going to degrade. Which is why it hard wires to the actual battery setup. Although it doesn't, it actually plugs into a fuse into your fuse box and then wires into here to power it. Also, along with the hard wiring kit, it gives you parking monitoring so that if you're away from the vehicle at any time, then it's going to monitor it and sort of record when the car gets hit, for example, if you're not there. 
And look, I'm not going to go into a full rundown of all the features and everything on this video. That's not what I'm doing. We've done the install. But I will say, if you're in the market for a dash cam because you've got a decent vehicle that you want to take care of, then this is a particularly good model. And there is one thing, if you're in the market for a dash cam, that you want to be concerned of above any other features. Does it have a good picture quality? And can you see the car that's just caused the accident? And more importantly, can you read the reg plate? And the thing is, I'm not gonna, because of time constraints and a few other reasons, show you a load of driving footage. What I will do is throw a few stills on the screen now and confirm that yes, in the day or even at night, from front camera or rear camera, yeah, you can read reg plates. This camera on this system is top notch. And just sort of as a bird's eye view, as old man Grumpster pulls up in the backdrop, let me just show you the cameras. One feature that I'm really chuffed about that it's got, you can move the camera around in the back. So I haven't got to worry about having to reset the camera in the background. As I say, there's a number of top-notch features with this dash cam. And if you're in the market for it and want to check it out, do what we always do. Hit on YouTube and find that review video for the actual features. But for now, I'm pretty stoked. I've got a brand new dash cam. And for me personally, and one of the main reasons I wanted it is because it gives me a new perspective from the front and rear. And on top of that, it's also got a microphone built in. So it may be another camera setup for me doing the YouTube videos. More importantly, for dash cam fanatics and those that are in the market for it, yeah the red tiger dash cam Rawr. t27 i'll leave a link in the description where you can go and check out the whole product and all the features etc as for now i really hope you enjoyed this midweek madness if you did all the good stuff hit the like button subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments and as always you know you know take it easy enjoy the camp and stay stealthy all right